Hello everybody, it's Detectives to here and today I'll be showing you how to get two player Game Boy games working within RetroPie. To achieve this we'll have to add an additional emulator to RetroPie which emulates the Game Boy Link function of the system. And once that's done, it's just a matter of simply loading a compatible ROM and playing it. You can see on screen that I'm testing Tetris World and it works surprisingly well. Obviously you will not have your private screen to yourself like on a real Game Boy, but it's a cool feature you can add to your RetroPie setup. This tutorial will be using an install script I made and will only work on the RetroPie 3.0 beta image. Please do not try it if you're on 2.6, as I have not set it up for that, but if there is enough interest, I will release a script for 2.6 as well. So let's get started. Since we will be using a script for this install, it will be a very quick and easy process. All the commands you will need to run are in the description, so feel free to copy them from there. If you are interested in what the script is doing, Make sure you do open it up and have a look using the nano command and maybe you will get some ideas on how to add another emulator on your own. Go to the console using either putty or pressing F4 and then type cd space slash home slash pi and press enter. Next we'll download my script from github using wget so go down to the description and copy command 2 so I don't have to read out that URL and press enter. This won't take long at all. Next we'll change the ownership and permissions of the script file using the chown and chmod command. First run command 3 from the description and then command 4 or simply copy what you see on screen. Finally it's time to run the script and this is done by simply typing dot slash and then the script name which is tgb-installer-3.0.sh. Press enter and let it do its thing. We will actually be building the emulator from source using the make command and then copying the binary over to the libretro emulator folder. Along with this we'll be updating some of the configuration files to make it all work and tie it together. It may seem complicated but if you are interested in learning about it, open the script file and see what commands we are running to do this. As always if you need help understanding what's happening, leave me a comment and I'll help you out. The script will take a few minutes and once you see the command line again, simply head back to Emulation Station and it's time to test a ROM. Select your game and when it loads, press X to bring up the emulator selection screen. You will be greeted with this menu and if you select either option 1 or 2, you will see a new emulator option available. LR-Gambat is our default emulator and TGB Jewel is our two-player emulator we just installed. I recommend selecting option 2 and making it the default choice for your ROM only. Once this is done, go down to launch, press enter and we're in business. And that's it! TGB Dual will use our standard key configuration so it should all work if you have two player controls set up with LibRetro already. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and learned something along the way. Make sure to hit the like button and leave me a comment if you did. Thanks again and see you next time.